So today I took a deep dive into some of the suggestions you guys have made in comments that I should react to. And one of the big ones that comes up over and over and over is me reacting to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers. Apparently this is a huge thing and I have no, no idea what it is. In case you're brand new here, I'm an Irish girl living between Ireland and Spain. No, not in France, sometimes in Ireland, sometimes in Spain. Don't know where I'm at, don't know what I'm doing with my life. But I offer a European perspective mostly on American things because most of my viewers are American and you guys suggest to me in comments what I should watch. So if you want me to react to something, let me know below in comments. Let's keep it PG. I have heard of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Soldiers, Soldier. I don't know if it's a singular or plural, but I've heard of it. And I think that army people march outside of it like the Queen's Guard. And that's all I know. I don't know who the Unknown Soldiers are. Maybe nobody does. Maybe that's why they're called the Unknown Soldiers. We're gonna find out today. Today's video is brought to you by my old pals at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare classes combine video lessons, class projects, and hands-on feedback with short lessons to fit any schedule on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. What I particularly like about Skillshare is that it offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. I've recently been taking fellow YouTuber Jessica Capice's portrait photography class. I love watching Jessica's videos on YouTube and when I found out she had a Skillshare course, I was so excited. I definitely feel more confident sharing my Instagram shots since I started the course. But that's just one of loads of different courses you can take and upskill for the new year. And what's better than a free trial? The answer is nothing. The first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Start exploring your creativity today. Thank you Skillshare for supporting this channel and on with the video. Chewie's leg, his little leg. His little leg just hangs out, it's so funny. Okay, let's go. The story of the unknown soldier. So just the one, one soldier. Not every soldier is recognized for his heroic actions. Indeed, one of the countless tragedies of war is that the bodies of many soldiers are never even identified. On August 3rd, 1956, Three years after the end of the Korean War, President mm -hmm. Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a bill to select and pay tribute to the unknown soldiers of the Korean War and World War II. Okay. These soldiers would be buried in the Tomb of the Unknowns at Arlington <gasps> National okay, Cemetery. Okay, that makes sense. The Tomb of the Unknowns was created in response to the mass casualties of World War I. Oh, God. The idea of a horrific unknown picture. dead, of which there were so many in World War I, began in Great Britain in 1920. Huh. Then, in March 1921, the U.S. Congress approved a plan to return the body of an unknown American soldier from the war and bury him with full honors in a tomb to be constructed at the Memorial Amphitheater wow. in Arlington National Cemetery. On Memorial Day, There's 1921, so four unknown soldiers were exhumed from four World War I American cemeteries in France. They were exhumed? They were placed in four identical caskets and set before a highly decorated veteran of that war, U.S. Army Sergeant Edward F. Younger. Wow. Sergeant Younger ceremonially selected one casket he later spoke of his decision. I was left alone in the chapel. There were four coffins, all unmarked and unnamed. The one that I placed the roses on would be the one brought home and placed in the National Shrine. Pressure. I walked around the coffins three times. Then suddenly I stopped. What caused me to stop, I don't know. It was as though something had pulled me. I placed the roses on the coffin in front of me. I can still remember the odd feeling that I had, standing there alone. The chosen unknown was transported to the United States aboard the USS Olympia. What happened to the other three? Those remaining were interred in the Meuse Argonne Cemetery, France. So they were just put back in the ground, okay. The selected unknown lay in state at the Capitol Rotunda 
until midnight on November 10th, 1921. On November 11th, Armistice Day, the casket of that unknown soldier was carried from the Rotunda to Arlington National Cemetery under a military escort. So he's representative. Behind the caisson bearing the flag-draped casket walked President Harding, Vice President Coolidge, mm -hmm. Chief Justice Taft, and the other justices of the Supreme Court. Members of the Cabinet, Senate, and House of Representatives, generals and other distinguished officers from America's wars and recipients of the Medal of Honor. Wow. President we know Harding about the Medal of officiated Honor. at the interment ceremonies at the Memorial Amphitheater at Arlington National Cemetery. He conferred upon the unknown soldier the Medal of Honor and the Distinguished Service Cross. Wow. It's just so Representatives random. of foreign governments allied with the U.S. in World War I participated as well, bestowing upon the unknown their own highest military awards. The United States reciprocated this gesture, honoring an unknown soldier from nations of France, Great Britain, Belgium, Italy, and Romania wow. with the Medal of Honor. In the history of the Medal of Honor, these are the only five instances in which the award was presented to a foreign soldier. After World War II, plans were made for the selection and burial of an unknown from that war. But fighting in Korea broke out before the selection process had begun, and the decision was made to postpone until a more appropriate time. That time turned out to be 1958, I didn't think when they unknowns from World War II graphic. and the Korean War were selected for burial in the Tomb of the Unknowns. The final selection of the unknown from the Korean War took place on May 15, 1958. All of the unknown war dead from that war had been buried in the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. In that place, Four candidates for burial in the Tomb of the Unknowns were placed in identical caskets draped with American flags. Master Sergeant Ned Lyle, a recipient of the Distinguished Service Cross for heroic action in Korea, was designated to make the final selection. He placed a wreath of blue and white carnations on one casket and saluted the remains of the soldier inside. The selection of the World War II Unknown took place 11 days later aboard the USS Canberra. How did they choose? Earlier stages of the selection process had resulted in one remaining candidate from the European Theater of Operations and one candidate from the Pacific Theater. Hospital Corpsman First Class William R. Charette, recipient of the Medal of Honor for actions in the Korean War, made the final selection. Okay, sorry, I thought that was the, the person. I was unknown, like, he wouldn't be unknown then. Along with the unknown from the Korean War, arrived in Washington <laughs> on May 28, 1958. Your flag is good. They lay in state in the Capitol Rotunda until 1 p.m. on May 30th. As the procession moved toward Arlington National Cemetery, the two caissons, each carrying one unknown, traveled side by side. When they reached the cemetery, they shifted into a column led by the caisson bearing the World War II unknown soldier. Wow. As the caissons entered the cemetery, 20 jet fighters and bombers passed overhead with one plane missing from each formation. Oh. The casket of the World War II unknown soldier was placed in That's front of funny. President Eisenhower, and the Korean War unknown soldier in front of Vice President Nixon. The Marine Band played the national anthem, and then a bugler sounded attention three times. After a long moment of silence, President Eisenhower placed a Medal of Honor on each casket. The unknowns of World War II and the Korean War were interred in the plaza beside their World War I comrades. The tomb sarcophagus was placed above the grave of the unknown soldier of World War I in April 1931. That looks beautiful. The 
The sarcophagus is constructed of seven rectangular pieces of white marble, together weighing 79 tons. On the west panel oh of the gosh. sarcophagus, facing the amphitheater, are the words, Here rests, in honored glory, an American soldier known but to God. On the east yeah, panel, the guard. facing the Capitol, three Greek figures have been sculpted. Wow. On the left stands Peace, holding a dove in one hand. On the right stands Valor, bearing a broken sword in his hands. In the center stands Victory, holding hands with Peace while extending an olive branch to Valor. The north and south panels present a total of six inverted wreaths, each representing a major campaign of World War I. West of the sarcophagus are the crypts of unknowns from World War II, wow. Korea, and Vietnam. Those three graves are Beautiful marked with white looking. marble slabs that lie flush with the plaza. Since April 6th, 1948, the tomb of the unknown soldier has been guarded 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, regardless of weather. In blazing sun, freezing snow, and even in the face of hurricanes, the Sentinels continue their watch. The Sentinels, members of the 3rd Infantry, or Old Guard, are famous so for the young. precision of their march and changing of the guard. The Sentinel marches 21 steps across a black mat, past the crypts of what each an honor for them. He then makes a crisp 90 degree turn to face east for 21 seconds. 21? So precise. He then makes another 90 degree turn, facing north for 21 seconds. A crisp shoulder arms movement places the rifle on the shoulder nearest the visitors to signify that the sentinel stands between the tomb and any threat. Wow. After that moment, the sentinel paces 21 steps north, turns, and repeats the process. I'd say they have to deal with a lot of annoying tourists. Every hour during the winter and every half hour during summer daylight hours, the sentinels conduct the changing of the guard ceremony. As the new sentinel approaches the relief commander, slowly and with great precision, conducts a white glove inspection of the sentinel's weapon. The two then- Ooh, you wouldn't want anything wrong with it. March to the center of the mat, where the active sentinel stops his walk, and all three men salute the tomb. The relief commander instructs the active sentinel, pass on your orders. The sentinel replies, post and orders remain as directed. The relieving sentinel responds, orders acknowledged. The relieving sentinel then steps into position at the center of the black mat. The relief commander and relieved sentinel exit and the new sentinel begins his march. The unknown soldiers serve to remind us that not all actions of valor are witnessed so and recorded true. in war. We do not know the stories of these men, but we know they gave their lives in a war they did not start to protect the freedom of people who would never know their names. They demonstrate the courage and heroism of every man and woman who goes into combat in service of their nation. They will face threats we can hardly imagine. I couldn't do it. To eliminate the dangers that are posed to the men in the trench beside them. Fair play. Okay, like the obvious question I have following that is what happens when somebody tries to mess with it? So let's check out a video where somebody tried to mess with it. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier yelling at laughing crowd. Okay, oh my gosh. I mean, I've seen the ones of um, the Queen's Guard yelling at people, 
because people think it's like a funny thing the queen's guard it's not a funny thing he's actually protecting the queen and from what i've seen in that video like it's totally about respect and um ceremony and stuff so you don't mess with that let's see i mean i can see how angry the british soldiers get i can only imagine how angry an american one is gonna go because you guys you go off you can go off It is requested that everyone maintains a level of silence and respect. That's fair enough. Isn't it? He's not really... It's like fair enough, no? Okay, so they just... They just discipline the people. Okay. Well, that was super interesting. I like ceremony and tradition is good. Um, so yeah, I think that's cool that they honor all the people that they don't have backstories for. I think that's really respectful. Yeah, that was a super interesting video. As I said at the beginning of the video, if there's something you would like me to watch, do let me know below in comments. If you are interested in me and my journey and want to follow it, yeah, I got it. I got it embarrassed. Maybe you could like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of me. Okay, I don't know why I got bashful. That's it for Daisy on the other side. Bye. Recording. Everything's recording. And time to do the clap. Just one clap. I just did the second one for fun. Ah! Oh no, I wasn't supposed to connect to the... Oh no, how do I undo that? Hidden inside this video is a game of spot the difference. If you find the difference, you will win nothing because life doesn't give out trophies for everything, but well done.